Ooh-wee, baby. The way you make me feel. You make me feel like, I don't know, like the first time I saw you, Yo. and you saw me, and uh-huh. we became we, uh-huh. and ooh-wee, baby. The way you make me feel. You make me feel like the first time I touched you, and you touched me, and the electricity. It's mind control. Do you think that our people um, have a problem with dominant and recessive genes? Understanding that concept? Yeah, we have a problem with everything. (laughs) You know, this is why if there ever was a, even if we talk about the good old Christians, they talk about there gonna come a time when things get so bad that God gotta damn intervene. Well, if there ever was a case for that, it would be a case for black people. Black people are not really a good analytical people to really analyze jack shit anymore. We're not a good people, and I'm not talking about us as the origin of the the the, the prototype of mankind. I'm talking about this straight up Negroes. We're not a good people to analyze anything. Um, what? One out of ten got good common sense. And I ain't talking about no damn, this ain't got nothing to do with no education. We are literally subjects of the United States government and we just basically cows grazing in the field. So if there's anybody who ain't gonna analyze nothing is gonna realize anything about the recessive and anything like that, we have been reduced down to a people that just ain't gonna doggone look into things outside of what this damn slave master tells us is legitimate. Uh, well, it's interesting. Um, when, uh, basically, when these things was written and the ancient scripture and what they were actually talking about, the signs that we're talking about was consciousness. That's was consciousness, because they also talk about the gathering of the masters, and those gathering of masters. We've been doing it for the last ten years, starting off with recapturing the history and then going into the mystery uh, going into the mystery the historical aspect laid the foundation but even those in the historical foundation a lot of those were not privileged to go on into the spiritual aspect and I and I'm, I'm answering your question too but I give you all aspects of it they're not privileged because knowledge is a privilege so for the ones who didn't get with the historical thing, the ones that still stuck in religion and think they're going to hell and don't know nothing about themselves, they were not privileged to learn their history. The other ones, and I'll explain what that also means too, the other ones who learned the history for some reason that they felt that they had it all for some ego purposes, that they didn't want to go on and learn additional information because we got too many people when you get to be a master Some people never want to humble themselves to knowledge because they have mastered a certain history or a certain uh, certain form of a a different way of worship. And they're looked upon as an authority on something. So as a result, to learn something new means you got to go back to grade one. And some of those particular people shut down and they would rather just be only on that level of what they have mastered. So as a result, they are not privileged to get the higher knowledge. Then you have what is called a higher knowledge, which is all perspectives of, uh, of spirituality. Whereas last night we was even talking about death and people in the house and different things like that. And just the most bizarre things to most people is just regular to people in consciousness. So those people are privileged to get a certain amount of knowledge also too. Uh, uh, also too. And some people say, well, you know, knowledge is supposed to be... Um, free knowledge is supposed to be yes if you want knowledge if you seek that then you then it is free for you to go and get it but you have to have the aptitude to even want to do that and that's where the privilege comes in for the mere fact that we got dead people and then when you tell them this they reject it that means that they're not privileged to it 
You see what I'm saying? And it's based on a level of initiation. And why? So people say, well, why is that? Because it has always been that way because the simple fact, this is a select original soul's knowledge. And since then, we got millions of people out here that's far removed from the original ones. And so therefore, they cannot get that knowledge at all because their souls um, are too young or don't have a damn soul to get this stuff. The focus is not going to be on the outside world. It's going to be on those particular minds that's getting this. You see, this is not a thing that, you know, uh, uh, this is not a thing like um, a new political party or something like that you, you go to and you can, uh, it's your decision on where you can be in it. You are here based on... It was prophesied and you agreed to be here at this particular time. So the sign is actually you. And so, so how would you know the sign? For the mere fact that you have an interest in this. That is the sign. Some people who like to fake the funk, you know, they like to fake like they're priests and all yeah, that. Yeah, I know. How do, you, how do you identify somebody who's real? About but my point is, is this here. I think that that's going to be the trap. I think that's going to be the trap because even that itself is, first of all, we know we in hell. That's the bottom line. We know we in hell. So certain things come with being in a mental institution. Everybody's sick. My point is that I don't even think that even should be the, even the focus. You see what I'm saying? I don't even think that even should be the focus because ultimately it's futile when the only thing that can lift you up is yourself. You understand? Now, I, have, I pretty much well know when I do a lecture that some people in the room are thinking this nigga is insane. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some people just not going to get it. Right now, I bet you right now, if I walk into the church in Atlanta, I'll meet somebody that's done been to my lectures. You see what I'm saying? To give you the same example of what I'm talking about is my sister-in-law. We used to meditate every dog on Saturday night back in 93, 94. I mean, she was right in the thick of things. My brother won't let a white man, you, he won't let the white man come in his damn house. And his wife know all this stuff. This is my sister-in-law. She was thinking the damn funk. And sure enough, soon as my brother... Got his business and he start working all the dog on time and just chilling. He wasn't there but damn near on the weekends. Her ass went right back and joined that church. Knowing, but it's a based on a social thing. All because she want her little damn three daughters to wear some fucking dresses. You know what I'm saying? And get into that whole social thing about church. So my point is, is um, but that doesn't have a hill of beans to do. I mean, that's going to be given. That's going to happen. You understand what I'm saying? I think if you focus on it, you see, plus also to it, that is great. Because I got this in the notes. That is actually good. Now, let me explain this to you. If we didn't have black people totally messed up, America... And this realm would be the greatest country on earth because it would have said it would have done what it set out to do or what it's been lying to say it has done. We represent the enigma that America is not great. When I was in New York, I told motherfuckers to suffer the best of your damn ability. Wherever there's pain and suffering, you go to the pain and damn suffering. Let it kick you in your ass. Because to want to even be a part of this doggone pleasure with this shit after they done kill you and your ancestors is admitting defeat. So, in so many words, in actuality, all that that we defake in the form, black people ain't this and black people ain't that. It's all good. 
Hey, a ghetto phrase ain't never been one that came up in the 90s with the Snoop Dogg the dog shit. <coughs> was it's all good. Now, what does this mean? America right now, with, with, with they merged with this America Online and Warner Brothers and <coughs> all this great stuff. <coughs> they are telling the people around the world that this is the dream that has been actualized and this is the dream that has been carried out and in so many words <coughs> the white man has made it he's on top and he's got the entire world saying man you are the shit you got me on a cell phone you got me on the internet you got me on all this great stuff and he has camouflaged himself where nobody is saying this mother is fucked up especially the people around the world and yet they come in this country and everybody look at us at disgust because we can't get nothing right. And on the physical realm, we can't get nothing right. You need to look at BET and when they be fucking up. The show don't come on on time and shit. It might go off for a while and stuff, you know what I'm saying? All kind of crazy stuff. Wherever we are, confusion and chaos is. But we represent, don't you understand, we represent chaos, but don't you understand that that, myself, is the greatness that we represent? Here's a country, here's a world, here's Europe. They are now supreme all over the planet Earth. Because if you think for one damn minute the African ain't trying to get with him, you crazy. He is supreme all over the earth. And here it is that no matter how great his country is, his country made these pathetic people they call black people. And that's the good part about it. Because we represent. Because, you know, they're trying to hide and lie and camouflage that America is so great. But the only thing you got to look at us, and if we are the product, then that is the cancer. And as long as you got a cancer... Like, like a man has said in, 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 in the matrix, a virus. Mm -hmm. But as long as you have a cancer, that means in actuality, you ain't healthy. So in actuality, that's all a part of the process. If you gotta, you gotta look beyond just the what you call it and all. That's all a part of the process and stuff. Because the key here is, we can get caught into what people are not doing, and that filters into the ego aspect and we still missing the mark. But then again, on the other hand, that's the greatness of it. Just think about what I'm trying to say here. Let's say that every black person, that talent, talent to tip bullshit, because W.E.B. Du Bois, although he's a, one of the greatest intellectuals now, um, that nigga was about total equality in white society at first. But let's just say that what the boule, because he did come to his senses. It was late in his life, but he did come to his senses. Let's say it's just the Negro boule, and they would want nothing more. And just the average black person. And they're not necessarily bad. It's just because we just figure we live in the country, we're supposed to do better in it. That's just human survival if you don't know nothing. But let's just say the average black person, that we all got what we wanted. And they can look back, and they lifted everybody out of poverty, and everybody's on an equal form, firm footage, footage, and now we like the F other ethnic groups, like the Jews, like the Irish, like the Italian. You understand what I'm saying? We got human problems, but we don't have these racial problems and these equality things no more. You understand what I'm saying? We taking ourselves in society. Then, if this actually happened, then we would have lost. Because there wouldn't have been no vindication. Because apparently to, to merge into this society, your, 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 your oppressor would have had to given you have to given you those things. And by him giving you those things, you understand what I'm saying? You can't blame him no more for being the person that he's not. So in actuality, you understand what I'm saying? Being the person that he, you can't blame him for being the person he's not. So in actuality, this is actually good. Hmm? But you 
you're at your okay, but we came in at the highest high. Yeah. So then we dropped to the lowest low. Yeah. So then there's the white man. Here. Right. Yeah, exactly. And we have really fallen under him. Yeah. Thinking that we were with God supposed to be right. thinking we're kind of. Well that's the other part of it. So you don't have nowhere to go but up. Yeah, right. it, and that's the other part of it. If you give in to him totally and everybody seemed to be all right, that means that you would only accept the low level because that's all he is, civilized barbarism. But the physical thing is saying that your DNA chain is, is coming back. Well, naturally, that's, that's yeah, but, that, but, but, but the, when you talk about DNA and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? You're talking about something that's more than just the physical. Right. It's the spiritual. Right. But remember now, That's right. the original, if it's coming back, and we're talking about a jump, we're talking about a quickening. Right. It's not going back to Kemet because that's the low point. It's going back to non-physical because we didn't start off in the physical. Right. We gradually fell to the physical. You understand what I'm saying? So even to accept Kemet in the highest civilization that we had in the physical is a low level. You see what I'm saying? It is it, it, actual, actually a low level. You see what I'm saying also too. Any more questions?